so uh, last lecture we have seen the input bias current right this lecture let us concentrate on input offset current so we we were we were able to measure the input bias current i have shown you the table where you can measure v plus which is voltage at inverting ter, uh, non inverting terminal then we have seen v minus voltage at uh, inverting terminal then we have understood how we can calculate ib plus and ib minus and then mode of ib plus by plus ib minus divided by 2 that was your input bias current now in this particular uh, uh, class we will see input offset current uh, and what exactly input offset current means. So, again you if you if you guys remember the circuit for the input bias current the same circuit we can have for input offset current. So, the circuit was we have a resistor, we have a resistor, we have plus VCC minus VCC or minus VEE right plus VCC, we have output voltage minus VEE or minus VCC, we have both the terminals ground right both the terminals ground. Now, this was about 220 k 220 k inverting non inverting this was the circuit right if you remember. So, now same circuit we have to use for understanding the input offset current. So, what exactly input offset current means? Hmm. So, the difference in the magnitudes of I B 1. So, in that we were adding it right we were adding it and divided by 2 here we have to take a difference difference of what difference in the magnitudes of I B 1 and I B 2 is called input offset current. So, easy extremely easy why because we have to just measure difference right and is denoted as input offset current you have to remember okay? input offset current is denoted by I in the uh, subscript I O S. Now, thus input offset current I I O S equals to mode of I B 1 minus I B 2 right again B 1 and B 2 would be in subscript. The magnitude of this current is very small order of 20 to 60 nano amperes it's extremely small hmm? and it is measured under a condition that input voltage to the op amp is 0 right. So, what is input voltage guess what is input voltage right now nothing right. So, input voltage is 0. So, this is the perfect condition where we can measure what is the input offset current right. So, quickly again the difference in the magnitude of I B 1 and I B 2 is called input offset current and is denoted by I I O S thus input offset current is nothing but difference of or magnitude of I O I B 1 minus I B 2 the value is close to 20 to 16 nanoampere. ampere. So, if we apply equal DC currents to two input output voltage must be 0 this is obvious right if you apply equal current output voltage should be 0, but practically there exists some voltage at the output. So, that means that if I ground both the terminals I will see some voltage at the output even when we apply similar current to the input terminals inverting and non inverting I will still see some output voltage in the output output we can measure the output voltage like how to measure the output voltage we have we can measure the voltage here. Hmm. So, to make it 0 what to make it 0 output voltage right the two input currents are made deferred to by small amount this difference is nothing but the input offset current. So, the point that we have to remember is when we apply equal DC currents to the input voltage to both the input voltage right what are input voltage is inverting and non inverting then output voltage should be 0 V O should be 0 but in reality this is not 0. So, what we can do we can defer the uh, uh, input current uh, by small amount if we defer the input current by small amount the output voltage will become 0. Now, this is what we want why we want equal to 0 because we are not applying any voltage we are we are applying equal current then output should be 0 right. So, this is how we are balancing our amplifier it is very important that you balance your operation amplifier before you start working on different kind of circuits all right. So, let us see now on the breadboard how we can connect this and how we can measure the input offset current all right. So, for this again we go back to uh, we go to the uh, uh, the uh, this particular uh, table right and here what we have we are looking at input offset current if you remember we have uh, in the last module we have seen input bias current here we are looking at input offset current input offset current is I B plus minus I B minus right the input by 
uh, bias current uh, at uh, the non inverting terminal minus input bias current at the inverting terminal. Now, we already know input bias current how we can calculate right, how we can calculate. So, let us see once again uh, if we connect it. So, there is a breadboard here again you can see the breadboard right. So, here what is there? There is a integrated circuit which is your operational amplifier and there are two resistors 220 k right. This 220 k these resistors are there. Now, we have applied the bias voltage to the operational amplifier. How we apply bias voltage? By applying plus 15 right minus 15 across the across the 7 and 4 right 7 plus VCC 4 minus VCC or, min or VEE. Now, inverting we have to measure voltage at inverting terminal, we have to measure voltage at non inverting terminal. So, let us see uh, we, we got the multimeter uh, uh, which you also you have seen in the last module right this multimeter and we have measured lot of things using this multimeter. So, uh, let us see what is the value of in this multimeter. So, uh, can you please check the uh, voltage at the in inverting terminal. Yeah, so the value is six millivolts, six point one millivolts, six point one millivolts. All right, this is at inverting terminal. Let us see at non-inverting terminal. Six point it depends how you connect it okay your hands should be stable 6.3 millivolts good all right so 6.1 and 6.3 we get two values right so let us write this 6.1 and 6.3 in our table so if you see the table your values are 6.1 and 6.3 6.3 6.1 using this value can you calculate ib plus ib minus yes once you calculate ib plus ib minus you have to take the difference of ib plus and I B minus and there again you see it is a mode, hmm, it is a mode. So, this is how you can calculate the input offset current right easy, but let us see if I give you an example, if I give you an example theoretical example for example, you say that um, Hardik I cannot I cannot get the values because I do not have the uh, operation amplifiers, I do not have the DC power supply, I, I do not have uh, uh, the measurement uh, systems like multimeter, can I still calculate the uh, uh, input offset current, can I still calculate input bias current right. So, theoretically you can, theoretically you can. So, for that uh, let me give you an example alright. So, if we focus on screen uh, this is an example, what is the example that if the base current for the emitter coupled transistors of a differential amplifier are 18 micro ampere and 22 micro ampere, we have got two values determined one input bias current and two input offset current for the operation amplifier. So, given the values of I B 1 which is 18 micro ampere, I B 2 22 micro ampere. Can you now calculate input bias current and input offset current? Is it easy or not? Extremely easy right, because now we know the formula. So, let us see the first one which is input bias current right, I will give you the answer. The input bias current is nothing but I B equals to mode of I B 1 plus I B 2 divided by 2 18 plus 22 divided by 2 we get answer 20 micro ampere super easy super easy right. Now, let us see the second one which is your input offset current for an operation amplifier. So, for that input offset current everybody knows what is the formula I B equals to mode of I B 1 minus I B 2 right. If we put this value again 18 minus 22 would be 4 again it is a mode. So, not minus 4 micro ampere do not get this value it is wrong right it is mode. So, it will be even 18 minus 22 is minus 4 it is a mode. So, we get a value 4 micro ampere easy. So, this is how you can calculate the values even at home right G take a problem and solve it right solve as many problems as you can then go to the laboratory or get a multimeter at home a small multimeter a DC power supply right uh, and you can have a small lab at home 
you do not re really require to go to the university, go to the college and learn something right. You can learn from anywhere any place that is the idea of the uh, learning right. Learning is not restricted to a particular building, learning is not restricted to particular lab, learning is not restricted to particular college, learning is not restricted to particular university, learning is not restricted to any books also right. Learning can be done anywhere if you want to learn and this is the way you can learn use internet right. Take the NPTEL courses, learn right, understand and then out of your curiosity ask questions. You before you ask questions, you should try to answer this question by yourself. Try to see right, do not rely on spoon feeding. That is always my one sentence I tell you again and again, do not rely on spoon feeding right. So, uh, we this is how we can measure the input offset current and uh, we can measure the input bias current. So, in the next module we will see uh, the another experiment or another characteristics of an operational amplifier. Thank you.